Alright, construction cronies, welcome to another video. Finally, I'm going to be getting into the nitty gritty of these uh, soffit ceilings. Uh, I'm going to be using hat track in these videos. This is the first one out of a series of ceiling videos. Right now, uh, what I'm doing is uh, we got to do bulkheads here. Anywhere where the uh, the ceiling is going to be cut off, right? I got to do a bulkhead so that we have something to tie into, right? Um, you can see there's two different levels of the, of the floor above. Okay, so we're going to have different levels there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to shoot in my top track here. And uh, just like any other bulkhead, it's uh, it's it's just normal stuff here. Um, except, you see, I'm going to be matching it to the wall above so it's flat. So it's going to come down and return into the ceiling. Carrying your centers, your 16s, from the wall into the bulkhead always, right? Laying it out. 16, 32, 48. You know, I don't have to spell that out for you. Uh, so yeah, I always usually put two shots in the bottom of my my studs on the iron there, and um, I screw it in and like to the top track eventually. Like I get, I put a screw in every uh, part of the track. Uh, get my uh, get my bulkhead level. I pick somewhere in the center in in, in something this size. It's not very very big, right? And get it all uh, level and straight and square everything. You know, I'm, I'm squaring the tops, the studs, the track. Everything's getting perfectly square. You know, so nothing special. It's a bulkhead, guys. Just get your bulkheads done, and then you can start uh, angling it out for the perimeter, right? Angling your perimeters out. But uh, right here, because of the the drop. That second drop, it's not level. We dropped the bulkhead there so that we can... This is the two-inch offset, okay? I just want to point that out. So we dropped that bulkhead there so that we could uh, make sure the, the ceiling didn't have a hump or a bump in it, right? And uh, that's our bracing run. Uh, I'm showing you there, hat track. There, there's going to be plenty of examples coming up in the next few videos, guys. You, you, If you are doing ceilings, you definitely want to be subscribed to the channel because there's a lot going on here. So this is super tight. Uh, you can see we're not screwing it into this floor joist at the end. We're just uh, letting it hang and and screw and we're screwing it into the angle. This is the piece of hat track for our bracing. Okay, bracing has to be within four feet uh, of the structure. Okay, so out, outside your bulkheads, you go every four feet. And if it's and if you can make it tighter, go tighter. Right, it's just as long as it's within four feet. And um, you can see I uh, I how my, like look at the screws. That's what I'm trying to say. And you see how the hat track the brace goes all the way to the back side of that other little piece that's only like four inches long there. That's the important part, okay, for the bracing. It has to go all the way. It has to touch both sides of that uh, little piece of hat track, okay? And um, screw in both sides uh, on every single where every single bottom, like, uh, ceiling uh, a piece of furring bar hits the brace. You screw it in on both sides, and I angle it. I screw it in from one side to the other. And that, this is our braces, okay? Always put screws in the bottom of the brace so, th so that the ceiling doesn't drop on you, okay? You don't have to put them in the top one, just on the on the bottom, right? And then you and you clamp, you screw your brace in, you clamp it till your ceiling's uh, your two-inch offset. Yeah, I got cut off before, but yeah, I did the two-inch offset there so that that's how I don't do it right at ceiling height because the metal will be in the way. So you do a nice two-inch offset, and that's how you check for where you put all your braces on. And same thing, braces are four, every four feet as well, staggered. Okay, so and it's up to you how many screws you need. You know, uh, it, I I put one to two in the top and uh, one in the bottom. You know, sometimes I put a couple extra screws if I need to raise it or suck it in a little bit or something. You know, but uh, there you go, there it is, guys. Make sure you're subscribed because this is the first out of a bunch of videos. I got I think I got four more coming. Access granted.